Hey guys, um, I am back with another DVD slash VHS update. Um, I've got, let's see, one, five VHS tapes, and, well actually this isn't a DVD, DVD update, I only, it's a VHS update. So I got five VHS tapes, two CDs, one book and one game, so I got everything but DVD. So this isn't a DVD update. So I, I forgot. I didn't. I forgot, like just realized I didn't get any DVDs. So first up, I will show you guys the one book I got, which I got yesterday, which was Friday. I'm recording this on a Saturday, and that is Diary of a Wimpy Kid Double Down. Um, this came out on November. First, yeah, November first. Only oh, it was on a Tuesday, but had all the other books, so I decided I need to get this because I really enjoy these books. And to be honest, this one was not that great. I mean, it was good. I liked the old school, which was the last one. I like that one more. But you know, it's still a good book. I'm happy I got it. It just wasn't as good as the last one. So now is the two CDs I got. And first up is one I got really for no reason at all from um Goodwill. And that is Drake Bell, It's Only Time. I only got this because main reason I got it was it's Drake and J he was in Drake and Josh and I love that show. And I haven't really heard that much of his music. But this does, this does have, it has on found, Find A Way, the acoustic version, which is like the theme song for the show. Which I like, and it has, make it makes me happy, which I like that. I, that's like the only main song I like by him, except for the theme song. But there's the CD, which I'm assuming has the songs on it. And then I got this, which is, um... Pretty sure this is like, yeah, this is a DVD. This is like a guitar thing where you can like learn stuff, and then like it comes with a sticker or something, which I'm never going to use. So this was pretty pointless, but you know, whatever. I mean, should be shouldn't be that bad. And next up is um another CD, and that is Green Day Kerplunk, which I don't really know that much about. I heard like a couple songs, but I, I'm not really into this one. I haven't really heard that many of it. I haven't really listened to it all the way through. But this was used at a FYE, but it was only $4.99. Cheapest CD they had, and I didn't have this one. So I decided to just pick this one up. Also, it was the cheapest, so... Next up is the one game I got, and that is Mirror's Edge. I got this from like a pawn shop, and it was $10. A little more than I would want to pay, but you know, this game looks pretty fun. I played a demo of it on my Xbox, so I like kind of like a running games. I don't, I don't really know. I just like that kind of stuff. But there's the disc. Okay, next up are the VHS tapes, and first up is um, Clifford the Big Red Dog, Clifford's Best Friends. I have a couple Clifford tapes, and you know, pretty cool, I just, something different. There's the tape, and then the print date is... I am not actually sure. Yeah, I'm not really sure. It has some stuff, but I can't really read it. Okay, next up is um a very Brady sequel. And these were um 
part of a, they're like a seat. There was a um, deal for like four or four dollars, so I just got four just to like even it out. But yeah, I had the first one on DVD, and that's pretty decent. So I've seen a little bit of this. That looks it looks pretty cool. Okay, next up is um Dexter's Laboratory Ego Trip. Which is the first Dexter's Laboratory movie, which is pretty much the only one that I know of. And this is a pretty cool tape. I kind of wanted to get it at one point, but I was gonna get it on this website called Listia, but I bid it and like I didn't, I didn't bid enough. So and then I was gonna order it online, but I never did. But then I found this. And it's the tape, and the print date is. October 13th, 2000. And next up is um the last one I got with this um four dollar deal. And that is Land Before Time, Journey to the Big Journey to Big Water. Which I got those three, and then I like decided to just pick up one random just because I wanted to like. Even it out for a four for a dollar, so I just got this. I think I've seen this one before, but I have like a couple of the other ones on VHS, so you know, thought might as well. There's the tape, and then no print date that I know of. Whew. Finally, the last VHS tape I got is on. Um, Chasing Amy, which is another Kevin Smith movie. I have not seen this one. But you know, it shouldn't be that bad. And the print date is August 28th, 98, I believe. So yeah, that is it for this little VHS update with a bunch of other random things. So yeah, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.